let's talk about paracetamol or acetaminophen overdose. What are the clinical features, investigation findings, and how to treat a patient with paracetamol overdose? Paracetamol typically damages the liver, but it can also cause renal failure. So the clinical features initially are mild, such as nausea, anorexia, and vomiting. Then the patient can develop pallor and sweating. If the liver damage is significant, the patient will have pain in the right upper quadrant. In advanced paracetamol overdose, the patient will develop the liver failure, also known as acute liver failure, manifested as hepatic encephalopathy. The patient will also develop AKI or acute kidney injury leading to oliguria. And when hepatic encephalopathy is of grade four, the patient moves towards coma. And ultimately, this can lead to death. What the investigation findings? In the investigations, the most important ones are this, a PTN INR, paracetamol level, basic liver function tests, especially ALTs, renal function tests, especially serum creatinine, and an ABG, also very important. Those are important because they guide therapy. What is the treatment? Obviously, any patient with a history of paracetamol overdose should be hospitalized. If they present within an hour of ingestion, then we can give activated charcoal. If the patient presents within eight hours of uh, ingestion and we can check the paracetamol level and we can get results within eight hours of ingestion, then we can wait and then we can start anacetylcysteine. But most of the cases, the paracetamol levels take a few hours to get, and that's why we don't want to wait, especially when the patient has to a dose of more than 150 milligrams per kg of paracetamol. So when we start the antidote, we start the antidote if the results are not available within eight hours, or if the patient has to more than 150 milligram per kg of paracetamol, we give him or her an acetylcysteine right away, right there, if, before seeing the paracetamol level. But after we have the paracetamol level, we will plot it in the nomogram and check if the paracetamol level is below the nomogram. And if it's below the nomogram and every function tests are normal, we can discontinue the anacetyl system. What about person presenting after eight hours? If a person presents after eight hours, we immediately assess for the amount taken. If the patient has an ingestion of more than 150 milligram per kg body weight, then we must start treatment immediately. And obviously we have to take the blood samples for the investigations mentioned before, and we check the nomogram and discontinue treatment if the patient blood level are below the nomogram. So when should we consider um, alternative treatments? The best treatment for paracetamol overdose is transplant, but there is specific criteria when we should consider a person for transplant. And those criteria are an ABG, PT, serum creatinine, and encephalopathy. First of all, the ABG. If the ABG shows the pH is less than 7.3 after 24 hours of ingestion, then this is a single most important criteria for putting the patient on a transplant list. Or if the patient has a PT or prothrombin time more than 100 seconds, a serum creatinine 
more than 300 macromole per liter plus an encephalopathy more than three grade three or maybe grade four so grade three or grade four encephalopathy all of those together if they're present that's another indication for putting the patient on a transplant list what is another alternative for neck alternative for neck is methionine we can also use methionine and the dose is 2.5 gram orally every four hours for four doses every four hours four doses so that is the basic idea about the paracetamol overdose the clinical features investigations and treatment